What's up gamers, my name is Roll Easy, and I'm back with two new methods to hit this solo car duplication glitch. Before we get started, hit that blue thumbs up just like my character just did right there. Subscribe to me if you're new and turn on post notifications so you can be notified the instant I come out with any more fresh and informative dope content. Now, this is the same duplication glitch I posted yesterday, but two new methods how to hit it, and like the title says, you can save $195,000, you don't have to renovate anymore. All right, we have two methods to skip the renovation process, but what you will need is a heist invite from Lester or Ron. You need your own heist invite, all right? Apart from that, you also need to be in an invite-only session, the MOC with the personal vehicle storage, the retro custom or Benny's vehicle inside there that you want to duplicate with a custom plate on it, that's important, and a full garage with at least one free elegy. You need one RH8 for each dupe, all right? And once again, you don't need the $195,000. For this first, first method, you're gonna need a cargo bob just like you see I have right there. Now, to shout out the founders, for the original method, Freight Train What the Fudge and Lost Glitches, the workaround was found by Glitch Squad and NHJ. I'll leave all their links down in the description. And I also wanted to mention, guys, that we are so close to 200 subscribers. As you all know from yesterday's video, I will be doing a shout out Sunday video tomorrow. So make sure you show some love down in the comments if you want a shout out and tell all of your friends, tell everybody to subscribe so we can get 200 for the video tomorrow. Okay, so kicking off this first method right here, I'm gonna show you going into my garage, Del Perro apartment 20. I had to buy another garage because I started running out of space over here. And I do like, I do like this location, honestly. So we're gonna use this one for, this, uh, for the purposes of this tutorial. As you can see, I have a full garage and I got four RH8s. That means I can make four duplicates that can be put in this garage. Now, just like the other one, I'm gonna grab this one in slot one. I'm just grabbing that one because it's the easiest one to remember. And you have to remember which slot you took it from because you're gonna be ordering another elegy over that exact spot. So make sure whichever elegy you take out, you know that spot. Now, if you're new to this, you're gonna see what I was talking about right here. Remember, my retro is already inside of my MOC. So you need to pull out your RH8 that you're going to be, you know, duplicating over. This doesn't transfer the plates. You do need custom plates still. So go ahead and open up your phone, go to the internet. You're going to head to Legendary Motorsport and you're going to go ahead and pick up the LG RH8. Pick any color, order it, and you're going to want to order it right on top of this one that you just pulled out. Mine was in slot one. That's why we got to remember. So replace it, hurry up, and remember, you got to be quick. Do all this before the LG gets delivered. So now I'm just showing you, the car is bricked right there. That's how you know that it did work, you know, ordering over it. It's bricked, it's not movable. The other one is in the process of being delivered. So you're gonna run into your MOC and you're gonna hop into the car you're gonna duplicate. Once again, a retro Elegy or in any other Benny's vehicle with a custom plate. Now you're gonna open up your internet, or sorry, you're gonna open up your phone. This is where it becomes a bit different. And you're gonna go to your heist invite. Now you're gonna hold start and then with your right hand, Flick A and right uh, trigger, all right, on that heist invite. You saw that? All of a sudden, that happened, and then I get shot up into the sky. Once again, I was holding start with my left thumb, and then with my right, uh, with my right hand, I hit the gas and A. I just tapped him as I let go of start. All right, so you're doing all that at the same time. And look at that, it spawned up in the clouds. It was like, you're gonna go to Del Perro in your heist room, but no, it spawned me right outside, kind of glitched out, and there you go. And look at the mini map. You can see my car is actually under the map right now. It's under the MOC. You're not gonna be able to pick up the car like that. It's, it's literally, you know, it's bricked completely. So there are a couple things that you do have to do. It's bricked and under the map, so. You kind of have to do a little bit of a, of a workaround, you know. We were doing this a few weeks ago when this glitch first came out, and I was having a blast. This was a, originally a solo glitch, and it was so easy because the car would never be bricked. But when they did patch it, that ended up happening. But it's okay. Here is the workaround for it. You're just going to park your MOC a little bit away or run. It's all good. You know, you can run a block away or just, you know, drive the MOC a block away. Either one works. Uh, for this purpose, or for the tutorial purpose, I'm just going to call up Gerald and request a job. You're going to want to do this if you're going to be doing this back to back so you don't have to go into Rockstar Created Missions and start up a job every time. It does take a little bit of time. So right here, I just call Gerald to request a job so I can just have it in my phone and launch it real quick. So right here, I'm just going to accept the Gerald job. I'm going to go into the settings screen and just wait until you load in and simply back out. That is all you have to do. So as you can see right here, I'm in the settings screen, I'm backing out, I confirm that, and 
I spawn right back down where I started the job. And take a look, the car is actually over there on the minimap. The car is just sitting over there. So, this is where you're gonna need your cargo bob. Now, I'm just pulling up the MOC back over there where my cargo bob is. You can kind of see the car on the right side of the screen. And I'm gonna go pick up the cargo bob because the car is bricked. In case you guys didn't know, when you have a bricked car, all you have to do is grab a cargo bob and latch onto it, and you just need to pick it up for, you know, for a second or two. And once you pick it up, it unbricks the car. So right here, I'm grabbing my cargo bob. Uh, they are a little bit pricey, so this method is for you guys that do have a cargo bob already, and you're trying to save, you know, the 195000 You don't have to, you know, renovate. Does it take a little bit longer? Yes, but you do save more money. You're saving two hundred grand off of each dupe. You literally don't have to spend anything for this. And if you got the money, go ahead and buy a cargo bob and do this. You know, it's a fun little method, a little bit different, uh, but you know, it's up to you. So as you can see right here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to land. And I, I was thinking about picking it up right away, but I wanted to show you guys that it is indeed bricked. So I'm just going to land it right next to it. And I'm going to hop out and I'm just going to go inside of the Retro Custom. Now, once I go inside, you're going to notice the windows are gone and I can't do anything. I'm turning the wheel. I'm literally, you know, I'm pressing the gas, pressing the brake, uh, try to reverse. Nothing's working. So the car is 100% bricked. This is how you unbrick it. Just like I said, just hop into your cargo bob, go ahead and hover over it, put that hook out and just latch onto it for uh, not even that long. Just latch onto it and you're basically just going to be letting go. So I got that pull out of my way so I can have some space and I'm going to latch on any second now. There we go. Pick it up and then simply just drop it back down. And that's it. It's it's unbricked just like that. Very, very simple, you know, method. And if you have a cargo bob already, it's perfect for you. So as you can see right here, I'm going to hop in the car and I'm going to be able to drive it. There we go. Just like that. So what you're going to want to do now is drive back. And if you want to test that this is indeed a dupe, uh, you can go ahead and go into the back of your MOC, and if you press right on the D-pad to enter, it's going to say personal vehicle storage is full. That means that it is a duplicate. Now, in this in this video, I actually didn't do it because I knew it was a duplicate already, and but I will be going into the garage out, or into the MOC to show you. So make sure right here, you go back into the garage where you grab the RH8 from. Slot one, remember, my apartment 20, it was in slot one. Here's the new one that got delivered right there in slot one, and I'm gonna replace over it, and boom, there you go. That is the duplicate saved right there in slot one over that RH8. So now, all you gotta do is basically rinse and repeat. You have your elegies in there, you can rearrange them if you want so you can remember the slots, and you would grab one RH8 and you would just, you know, do the same exact thing over. Now, I'm gonna run over here into my MOC because I want to indeed show you guys that this was a duplicate. The original is still sitting inside of the MOC. You might want to do a better job parking it just, you know, on the side. Uh, like I said, if you're trying to rinse and repeat. And there we go. You see, that is the original and it still has a custom plate on it. That's what you want to see. Now, this, uh, this next method that you're going to be seeing now does not require a cargo bob. And it is much, much easier. I'm not going to lie but I just wanted to show you the options you have. Now, I'm parked over here at the docks. Everybody knows where the docks is, is at the bottom right hand side of the map. It's a really glitchy area and for some reason, the car doesn't brick. So I'm just gonna go ahead and call it my mechanic. This is the one downside is that you have to call your mechanic instead of being right next to your garage. Uh, so I would say get a garage really close to here. I'm still using the apartment from Del Perro. Uh, just because I have all my RH8s in there already. So I went ahead and I called the RH8 from slot one. I had rearranged it before I did this part of the video. So here's the RH8 that was in slot one in my apartment at Del Perro. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and park it right next to the MOC. It doesn't have to be right next to it, but you know, it's just for the video. And go ahead and go to Legendary Motorsport and we're gonna do the same thing. Order the, the, uh, the RH8 and apartment 20 and I'm gonna order it right over this one. There we go, it disappears if you're not in the car, so run into your MOC and you have to do, you have to end up back outside of your MOC before the car gets delivered or else the glitch won't work and you gotta restart it. Now, go ahead and hop into your retro and remember, hold the start button and you're gonna accept the heist invite. So I'm holding start already. Now I'm opening up my phone, go into the heist, click once on it, stay on that screen and you're gonna tap right trigger and A at the same time and let go of start button, all right? 
and look at that. The screen goes black. That's what you want to see. The screen flashes black a little bit, it goes black, and there you go. Once again, hold start button with your left thumb, and then right trigger and A. You're going to tap them and let go of start all at the same time. And just a little tap on right uh, trigger and A. You're not pressing them down too hard. Just a tap. And it's going to spawn me in there? No, it's not. It's going to spawn me right back at the docks. But get this. You don't need the cargo bob as I glitch out, you know, here in this weird screen right here. You don't need the cargo bob, but you do need to start up another job. Uh, I did want to show you guys in this one that you can just go to online jobs, play jobs, Rockstar created, and go into any mission. I started Titan of a Job real quick, and this is why. You see, it shoots you up in the cloud and it takes a little bit longer. That's why I showed you guys the Gerald method. Call Gerald for the job. It's very easy and it's a lot quicker. So as I spawn back down, I quit out of the setting screen confirm it and here we go I'm back in the docks and look at the car the car is pretty close to us it's right there and this is the best part when your car spawns here at the docks because you're parked here at the docks look at this it is not bricked you can drive it now what's the downside you got to go take it to your garage now but I'm gonna show you right here that the MOC is full you see that personal storage is full that means the originals in there and you're in a duplicate so I'm just fast forwarding right here. If you're, if you're still around this late in the video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications. Road to 500. Let's get to 200 by tomorrow for the shout outs. Make sure you comment down below for a shout out tomorrow. Man, I'm so hyped. This is a great glitch. Remember now we're going back into our apartment 20 to uh, replace over the RH8 that we ordered. It's like we're ordering over an RH8 and then we're replacing over another one with the uh, the dupe. A lot of replacing, but there you go. Over slot one, boom. We have another dupe. Just like that, just that easy. It is not very difficult, guys. If you have any questions, make sure to put them down in the comments. You know I'm going to help you. This is what I do. I just switch the cars back and I make sure the next one I do is going to be in slot one. If you guys want to do that, it is very, very simple. But any complications, I'm more than happy to help you. Guys, help each other out in the comments too. I can't always answer every question. Sometimes they don't come through in my post notifications. So I, I can't always get to them. So if you guys do see a question from another fellow subscriber or a future subscriber and he, needs, he or she needs help, help them out. Feel free to, all right? I've taught everybody on this channel a lot of stuff about duping cars. I'm going to come out with future videos. And you guys will always learn from me, all right? And do not be afraid to, you know, to write your questions in the comments and just ask, all right? Knowledge is power, and you want to be duping smart. You don't want to dupe anything other than Benny's vehicles once again. Retro custom sell for the most, almost a million dollars. All right. So I think I have covered mostly everything, guys. I want you all to make a lot of money for this new Smugglers Run DLC coming out soon. Rockstar didn't patch the DM glitch. They didn't patch anything yet. And I think it's because they're very busy working on the new DLC. They did the same thing for the gun running DLC. We had a bunch of CEO garage car duplication glitches, and they all stayed active right up until the DLC came out. And when we're all forced to have that update, they patched everything. I can promise you every single money glitch will be patched by Tuesday when the DLC comes out. So that's going to be it for me. Hit that blue thumbs up just like he just did. Subscribe to me if you're new and turn on post notifications so you can be notified the instant I come out with any more fresh and informative dope content. My name is Roll Easy. That's it for me. I'm signing off. Have a great day, everybody.